Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Lorena Abreu. Yeah. I just thought the words, I pray you, and I'm like, that's how you say it. Lorena is a parkour martial artist, stunt lady person. She has worked on the Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange. Just I, the reshoot. Just the reshoot. Hey, just the- don't qualify the statement. You've worked on it. <laughs> what matters is you worked on it. I'm going to put it in, every, in the description of every video you're on. She's worked Thank on you. Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange. I just want to qualify her background because we're going to look at a Vidget and Wall thing. Uh, two Vidget and Wall clips. The first one we're going to look at is the big secret of Vidget and Wall's action in Sanat. Sanak revealed, and then we're going to look at Sanak action sequence, Sanak fight scene, physiotherapy room. Now, that is the plan. If there's any copyright issues, then that might hinder what we show you in full, but uh, we will do our best. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this stuff to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Also, follow Lorena on the social media at Lorena Parkour. Okay, here we go. Okay, that is the very first martial arts style that has ever been, that's in existence. The very first, oh. it's the oldest martial arts style. And that is that is the uh, point from which all other martial arts styles presumably are derived. Ooh, very cool. <laughs> Seems unnecessary, but I love it. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm. I think it's crazy that a man of his size can move like that. He's keeping low, and it's. I don't. I don't even know how you pull that off. Yeah. No, he's just very strong. That takes a lot of strength. But there's also a flexibility because I mean, yeah. you can pump iron, but. Yeah. No, he's got definitely got hip, good hip mobility to get his <laughs> legs, knees out there. Ooh, that was cool. That was cool. That was super sick. It's very Jackie Chan inspired. Yeah. Uh, if you go and watch uh, Jackie Chan's first strike, you'll see movements exactly like that. Uh, With, the furniture, furniture yeah, kung fu. Yeah, furniture. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Stuff. Yes. I love it. I've seen that guy before. His warm up looks way cooler in the movie <laughs> than when he's just warming up for, you know, some martial arts. I, know, I thought he was dancing. Yeah. Man, Disney makes a lot of Holly- Bollywood films. I don't know if this is Bollywood, but. Oh, it is Bollywood, actually. So now we've got the Sanak action sequence. The man who does his own stunts. Oh. Oh. Nice. Was that on the exercise ball? Yeah. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh. Yeah, this is so Whoa, cool. nice. So Jackie Chan, I love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is very Jackie Chan. Yes. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, yes. Wow. I hope that's not real. <laughs> that was dope. That was awesome. That was dope. That was creative. Yeah. And I, dynamic. I want to, exactly. Beautiful. I wish, I wish we could have seen the role he did on the ball there better though, because that was sick. First off, I love all the ideas here. Yeah. The ideas are dope. Yeah. That? Oh, I wish we got like yeah a better angle of it. Yeah. I mean, I, I I like the shot. I like I, in theory in concept. I like the shot, but it does take away from our ability to fully appreciate what's yeah, I happening. Wish, I wish they had reserved that move for part of yeah. what this affords though is the ability to have some safety mats and stuff like that. Uh, I see. Yeah, I don't know if he used any, but I you know I imagine it's an opportunity to do so. For sure, for sure. Oh, he bounced right off that thing. So that was so graceful. That was great, the way the guy took yeah. the kick. I mean, it looked real. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. 
he could that connected. So yeah. what's great about that kick is it didn't feel like there was any waiting, and that's what happens sometimes with fight scenes. Is it feels like the stunt guy's kind of waiting there, and especially it, when it involves multiple people. Yeah, Sam Lay likes to call that egg on your face. It's just like okay, so there was something funny there. Like I like this idea a lot, but there was something funny happening here where it felt like a delay. Oh my goodness, I know that girl. No way, is that Ivy? Oh, that's a girl. That is a girl. <gasps> is that Ivy Titanium? <laughs> Ivy, is that you? Oh, I guess I'll find out. I think that's Ivy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so my issue with this right here is that it felt like she was putting her hand in there as opposed mm. to the punches coming in and he's taking over it, the momentum. Ivy, no, I'm just no. kidding. That might not be her fault. That might <laughs> yeah, just be because yeah. the camera's doing this and so it's hard to see what's happening. I understand the reason for the camera movement. It's just that while I like the shot in theory, again, I would have gone with a different angle or at least immediately when he grabs it, move the camera around to see her coming in because we don't really get the lead up and that's why it feels like she's just putting her hand in there to get taken. Mm, yeah, I see. I also love the lighting of this shot. Yeah, it looks cool. It's beautiful. I see he's waiting there. I wish that guy was not just waiting there, but like he was mm -hmm. trying to do something before he got kicked. He's just waiting around or it doesn't even look like he's struggling to get out. See that? There's like this delay there where it's like, no, but he's gotta be trying to get out or something. And then Vijay Jamal kicks him. That was dope. The yeah. way the guy kicked him and Vijay Jamal span, uh, spun out of the way. I thought Thanks that was- elbowing this guy. Yeah, I just thought that was so cool because it's just, it looks, everything happened so so like uh, simultaneously. Yeah. And, it, and the guy's foot came right at the camera too, which gave it that sense of like, yeah. just like the danger. The cuts were also well done. And yeah. I say that because I didn't really notice them. And when okay. you don't remember where the cuts were, you didn't really notice them. That's how you know they were good cuts. See, that guy's just kind of waiting around there. Uh, he's dancing with Vijay Jamal as opposed to it feeling like a threatening fight scene. Mm -hmm. he, in this particular moment right here, it's just what the guy's doing with Vijay Jamal. I understand why it's like, you're trying to make sure he's not getting hurt. You're not getting hurt. The moves are executed and all that. I get it. You okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I swear I yawn when I'm not tired. Please don't be offended. <laughs> I just yawn for no reason. So just watch the guy on the left who's fighting with Vijay Jamal. It's like... He just... <laughs> he's just moving with it. Yeah. It's, it feels like a rehearsal as opposed to... You know what I mean? That must have not been fun. This is very first strike. Yeah. Jackie Chan first strike. Oh, he's just yeah. throwing... I love it. I love, I love it how he's just trying to throw stuff at them. That... That that could have been cooler. Yeah. That is very scary what happened there. And y'all don't even realize he's throwing a medicine ball at Vijay Jamal's head, right? <laughs> they did the same thing in Jackie Chan's first strike where they threw a folding chair at Jackie Chan's head. And you got the sense of danger because of the angle. Now, it's like what we needed to see, it's the room doesn't really allow itself for that. But what we kind of needed to see, because I know Vijay Jamal wants people to know that it's him, right? And so what we needed was an angle facing Vijay Jamal as he's rolling towards the guy so we can see the medicine ball go right by his head. Irrespective of whether the camera's profile or facing Vijay Jamal, I can appreciate that. That ball's flying at his head, yeah. Uh, I, I would imagine Vijay Jamal is hardcore and those might have been real weights. Do you know what I mean? Like he's he's not messing around. Just from these couple of videos, he seems like that kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh boy, that thing went right by his head. Thank God it didn't hit him. He's taking chances with his face. That's like a billion dollars right there. Like he's taking chances. <laughs> it looks good. I, and it's really dynamic because he's rolling up, which these medicine balls are very unpredictable. I mean, you can practice with them and have a sense as to what's going to happen. But like, what if he bounced a little bit quicker than he meant to? The ball would have cracked him right in the face. You know what I mean? Even with this angle, I think what would have helped is if Vijay Jamal was a little bit higher initially and then had to really drop back because it feels like it was thrown over his head. I think that's what the issue was. I'm sorry, I'm just figuring it out on the fly because <laughs> this is my first time watching this. See, it just felt like it went over his head. You know in fight scenes where like, it feels like the punch went over the person's face as opposed to right at the person's face and you got a duck? Yeah. That was the same issue here, in my opinion. I'm just rambling, I'm sorry. No, please, you're the expert on this. I don't know. 100%. Pedestrian expert. But um, armchair fight scene choreographer uh, expert. No, but I thought there was some fantastic ideas in here. Did you see um, you have a black belt in Taekwondo? Yeah, I studied Taekwondo for like 20 years. You don't get that on an armchair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciated a, a lot of the ideas here. Assuming, you know, Vijay Jamal ever sees these videos, which is entirely possible. These are my little notes that I would have done differently and, and like hopefully he elevates it even further from here because I know that with each fight scene he does, he's always trying to take it to the next level. And so to me, these are little things he can do that would take it even further. Well, I definitely know? need to watch new Bollywood films because yeah. the fight scenes I had seen before, oh man. 
This is amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, uh, so follow Lorena on the social media. If there's any cool fight scene stuff that you want to recommend her to watch, even stuff we've already seen on this channel, that's fine. Send it her way on Instagram at Lorena Parkour. Subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up so that YouTube know you enjoyed what you watched. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Lorena. Peace out.